Hi everyone, it's Michael, and I'm so excited to do this orchid haul video for you. Um, and it's a mini orchid haul, it's just two new additions to my collection, but um, they are exciting additions. So uh, a couple days ago, it was my 30th birthday, and my dear sweet husband snatched my orchid wish list and shared it with friends. So I received two of the orchids I've really, really been wanting, and I'm so excited about them. So uh, let's jump in with number 35. Now, I'm not sure exactly how to say this. If any of you know what the right answer is, just tell me below. Um, Burragiara or Burragera Nelly Eiler. I don't know. <laughs> Nomenclature isn't my thing. But look how pretty it is. So obviously it's um, it's seen some uh, rough periods with dehydration. You can see, look at how the leaves have accordioned. You can see it's withdrawn some energy here. Um, but also it is in spike right now, which is super exciting. But here is what I will say. I'm gonna repot this immediately. Every single time, if you've watched my videos, you know this to be true. Every single time I think, you know, I can really just let this new addition to my collection coast, I discover that I'm wrong and some sort of a disaster unfolds. So I am just gonna repot this immediately. Also, in the two days I've had this thing, it's, um, I've struggled to keep the medium as it needs to be because again, I'm in Colorado, it's super dry, even with my ultrasonic humidifier, it's sitting right next to the ultrasonic humidifier. The medium dries so quickly. Um, as I understand it, this behaves a lot like a Meltoniopsis, so it's gonna like a bit cooler conditions and constant moisture. Well, not wetness, but specifically moisture. So I think, um, I think switching it to semi-hydroponics is going to be really constructive for the preferences of this plant. I think it'll be an upgrade, so I think its root system should do just fine. Um, that's just speculation. I realize that there's a, there's a possibility, a strong possibility that this could bud blast, but I'm willing to take that risk for the overall health of the plant by just repotting immediately. So that is number 35. I'm so excited. I really hope it doesn't bud blast because I want, I've heard so much about how intensely fragrant they are, but I would just love to experience that for myself. Now the second one is really exciting. The plant itself is in a bit of rough shape, um, but this is the, number 36 in my collection will be the Fred Clark Kiara After Dark SVO Black Pearl. Now I've been wanting one of these beautiful black flowers for a long time, um, but this one I'm also going to repot immediately um, because it's just, you can see it's, it's seen some better days. Um, and there's all sorts of deposits on the leaves that I'm just not sure about. So I'm gonna post these separately, um, the repot videos on both of these so you can really see what's going on. But I am gonna repot this one. Now here's something that I'm pissed at myself about. I was so excited as I was unwrapping this that I didn't realize the biggest and most appealing part of why my husband selected this plant. And it's because right on top of one of the old growths, there was this little baby cakey. Do you guys see that? It's so cute. Um, but it popped off when I was unwrapping it. So I just don't, I really hope that it has, I don't think it does. I don't think it has enough energy to sustain itself. I'm gonna put my best foot forward. I'm actually gonna convert the little cakey into some loosely packed sphagnum moss shortly. Um, currently it's just sitting on some wet LECA pellets, but um, that is number 36 in my collection. Um, so as, as it pertains to my collection and the numeric system, I got a really good question the other day. Somebody asked, when one of your orchids dies, like when you do one of the um, In Loving Memory videos, when you get another orchid to replace it, do you have it take that number? So the most recent passing was number 14 in my collection, which was a no ID Phalaenopsis. But I wanna be clear about the, the numeric system. Um, there will only ever be one number in the series ever. So now that number 14 has passed, the one that will replace it is actually 35. So 35 is the one that's taking the spot of 14. Um, I don't want to do a substitution in terms of the numeric system because I want to keep a rolling tab of exactly how many orcas I've cared for over the course of my life. Um, I try to keep my collection, at least at this moment, right around 30 to 35 plants um, because that is what I have capacity to care for. Um, so I will, I will replace the plant in terms of having one represented in my collection, but I will never replace the number. There will never be another 14. 14 is gone. It's passed. It's it's, you know, put it behind us. Um, but I just wanted to clarify that because that was a really good question. Um, I love you guys so much. There's a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, I have the October Orchid Update coming up shortly. That'll be posted by the end of the month. 
Um, I have something interesting that is going on with my Cypripediums. That's number 30 in my collection. Um, I'm going to be transporting them to outside because I think that's just where they need to be. I've got the repot video for my Nelly Eiler. I've got the repot video for my SVO Black Pearl. Um, there's a lot of fun stuff coming up, so stay tuned. I love you guys so much. Um, thank you, as always, for spending your time with me. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, let me know if you have any insights about these plants, if you have them. And I guess that's pretty much it. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Mwah. Bye.